So the unconditional love for myself, I just kind of want to wrap it up on this part. So, so let's talk about what the unconditional is that we really mean in this scenario. I wanted to say it in my words, though, to make sure I'm. You're not really even going to come close. You're not even going to come close. All right. Because yeah. because you just led us out here on the leading edge to something that you want to consider that right. you never have before. I'll, so we'll go first and I'll then concede. we'll hear. Yes, ma'am. So unconditional in the sense of what we're talking about here means it would be proportionate To mentally throwing the ball but not physically needing to pick one up it would be about and that's a sort of scanty basis we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll give you more I got you we'll give you more no worries it's like unconditional means finding the feeling and that being everything conditional is okay I'll find the feeling I'll work this out and it will produce these results but now you're twirled up in the results and since the results haven't happened yet you're introducing resistance into the equation and now you're in a state of resistance so it can't go where you want it to go so unconditional is caring singularly about the emotion that you have the ability to produce without needing results so let's just call the condition the the physical result the physical manifestation the the person showing up in a relationship or the money showing up in your bank account or the or the improvement in your bodily condition those are conditions sure. over which you really don't have immediate control sure you have eventual control but not immediate control so if you will exercise unconditional alignment meaning alignment for the sake of alignment not for the alignment for the ulterior motive of improving the condition now you're unconditional in your alignment and now the conditions all have to improve can you hear it sure and I feel like I understand that more and more and yeah. viscerally I'm actually practicing it yeah. where I really I really don't care about the manifestations because I understand I already have momentum rolling in a lot of directions I want to be headed in. Let's say that better. Oh. I care about every one of those manifestations. Okay. I just don't need to take score right now yes. because I'm wise enough to know they are evolving and will appear at the perfect place and the perfect point and the perfect time and the perfect. Okay. So here, then here's my question. In, when in other words, right now, I don't care about the absence of them because I know the absence of them is not a permanent yes, condition. Yes, it's temporary. That, well, that's different than saying I don't care, isn't it? Okay, I, I, I don't you. care about the absence of them sure. because I know that the absence of what I want is a temporary condition. Yes. And in my absence of angst about it, I'm producing an atmosphere of allowing that is the path of least resistance, which is going to produce the conditions that I want. Yes. Isn't this interesting? I have to be unconditional in order to get the condition. So my question is, what is those outside people's things relationship to me in my unconditional realm? My understanding is, they're wait, not, wait, wait, let me real quick. They're not, they're not, they're coming. They're coming as a response to a vibrational condition that you've got going on. Nobody ever shows up that's wrongly placed. I get that. I get so that. So they are evidence of something that you want to let go further off. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about universal laws here. The more it feels like you need to wrestle it to the ground or explain it or teach it or talk it or, or the, 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 more, the more that's the wrong direction. That's not the path of least resistance and you know it. You know it. Ha, don't, ha, don't you always get twirled up in stuff? Let, Esther <laughs> loves that song, I should have just gone to bed. Should have just gone to bed. Didn't, shouldn't, have, shouldn't have tried to talk it through. Shouldn't have tried to explain myself. Shouldn't have tried to figure it all out tonight. Absolutely. Shouldn't have tried to go to a place that I'm vibrationally not ready to go. I, I should agree. have just gone to bed. Okay. And the, the crutch of it is every single time, no matter what, unconditional versus conditional, only and always has to do with your relationship with you. Unconditional love is about loving yourself so that you then could choose to love someone else if you wanted to yes. or do something else if you wanted to. Yeah. But ultimately, unconditional love is only about your connection with you. All it's right. not about a connection with anything All else. All right, so now, now that's that's uh, 2014 conversation. Now okay. we're in 2015. Wow. So let's so let's have a new conversation about this from a new point Please. of under, from a new point of understanding. So let's talk about momentum 
and let's talk about path of least resistance and let's talk about conditions so would you say that there are some things that have already manifested that are pleasing conditions that offer no resistance to you whatsoever in fact they enhance your experience absolutely so do you want to be unconditional absolutely wait a minute do you want to be oh. unconditional well, yes this is where i get confused well, because here, you're we're telling me about we're, we're gonna clear it up oh, right thank now thank you very much i love you thank you so 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 if you're understanding momentum and you're understanding path of least resistance and we began today by talking about the momentum that comes from non-physical oh what a path of non-resistance in other words you ride in on this current of really powerful well-being so this path of least resistance and the momentum of this path of least resistance so let's say you are acknowledging a condition a condition Abraham says I should be unconditional yeah but wait this is a condition that has no resistance within it. okay this is a condition that enhances this is me rampaging and appreciation okay. this is me acknowledging the positive aspects of something okay. this is me benefiting because I'm aware of the path of least resistance I'm not trying to change a condition to feel uh, okay, good okay I'm acknowledging the momentum of conditions that do feel good this is I get it but feel the distinction when you yeah. need a condition to change that isn't changing because you're acknowledging it right where it is in other words we want you to be to give your attention to every condition that pleases you that promotes okay. your alignment okay, and that good. dovetails with who you really are and get your eyes off of those conditions that you think you need to change in order to feel better did you hear that distinction yes that is the most significant distinction yes. that we have ever expressed or that you have ever heard nice because it's not about that's why we say there's no one right answer there's no one right lifestyle there's no one right in other words all of you are right every person that you've ever disagreed with about anything is right because their perception is what it is they've built the rightness in through their perception okay. but you've got within you a guidance system that knows who you are and who you're being and is giving you feedback about that so if it feels really good acknowledge the condition if it feels bad give it up always take the path of least resistance okay. path of least resistance okay which leads us to something really important to say so you're gonna like this so let's say just follow us in this scenario it's gonna feel off the subject but it's right on topic no problem so let's say that you are acknowledging the behavior of another person and their behavior is not pleasing you not one bit and you know what when you saw it you know it when you think about it you know it when you keep thinking about it you know it when you're telling somebody else about it and but the more you talk about it the more momentum it gathers yeah, yeah until yeah. there's almost something satisfying about talking about it <laughs> because they agree with you this person is really oh, out of line yeah. and there's something sort of nice about being validated by other honorary people <laughs> about about this bad behavior so now we just want to say that there is a sort of path of least resistance because it's easy to keep complaining yeah. and in fact it's easier to keep complaining than to stop you got that momentum going and now this other person's involved with you and you really got it going on and but we want you to feel that even though there's momentum going and even though it feels like the path of least resistance because because now you're remembering all the terrible things they did in fact you're remembering other people that did other similar terrible things now the conversations broadening sure. to all kinds of stuff lots of momentum is going on and it feels like the path of least resistance but the way you feel you're getting more uncomfortable it's feeling more unpleasant you're getting angry you're getting all worked up about it because you've diverged from the path of who you really are mm -hmm. but there's no possible way that you can get back on that path right now mm -hmm. because vibrationally you have blocked that path from for yourself you see what we're getting at so that's why we say how do you get rid of doubt before it starts yeah. in other words 
you want to wake up and join that path you want to reach for the things that feel good it's the momentum of your alignment that you're really reaching for mm -hmm. so we've said this to you to you and to all of you over over the years if you will not try to fix things in the middle of your awareness of the problem of yeah. them it'll go better for you because there's so much resistance already going on and it it will feel tricky to you because it feels like the path of least resistance is going with the flow of the negativity and it never ever is sure. the path of the ultimate path of least resistance never feels bad but in here's something that is noticeable of dear human kind you would rather feel the momentum of negative emotion than no emotion at all because you believe in the momentum that you're getting something done we want you to reorient that flawed premise because nothing good ever comes out of negative momentum but then you feel like you're sort of in a trap because you can't get there from there the momentum is there and at least you're alive and at least you got somebody to talk about even talk with even though you're complaining and so you just have to sort of make a decision that you care about the way you feel and that feeling good matters to you most and then do your best to withdraw from the need to control conditions you can't control until you teach yourself we like that intellectual thing you were talking about you teach yourself what you can control okay. which is the way you feel and then just get good at it okay and you'll get better and better at it you'll wake up and you'll feel better longer yeah. and somebody who usually takes you down another momentum road you'll find the universe pairing you up with them less and less yeah. you'll find those conversations being less and less satisfying you'll notice the momentum the negative momentum the moment it gets started so you won't get started so you won't get swept up in it yeah. you'll gain more control of the way you feel and that's what you've been doing all along yeah so sorting out this conditional and this unconditional love thing this unconditional thing that we're wanting you to understand it's in a nutshell we can say it very succinctly focus on any condition that enhances your good feeling okay. and don't try to control any condition to try to fix something that's broken that's the best way to sort out the condition and the unconditioned perfect Esther sat out on her porch in rapture at the beauty of things that she saw and then she wanted to argue with us just like you do yeah. Abraham these are conditions that I'm focused upon that's a condition and that's a condition and that's a condition and that's a condition and I feel wonderful and we said Esther you felt wonderful before you focused on the conditions the reason those conditions look so good to you is because you were in an unconditional state of alignment you were in pure alignment with source you weren't trying to make anything happen you were in a in a neutral place of non-resistance and in that state of non-resistance you hooked up with the whole of you and your ability to, to appreciate went through the roof and yes you began focusing upon conditions from your place of alignment so you've been hearing us say this for a long time get into the vortex and then get into alignment and then so path of least resistance if something is uncomfortable withdraw your eyes from it if something is beautiful give it your undivided attention okay. if something tastes good eat more of it if it tastes <laughs> bad eat less of it move toward what feels good okay. move away from what does not feel good until you show yourself that you have that kind of discernment and then watch what the universe yields to you the subtle nuances and the details the perfection things that you even forgot that you told the universe you want will show up with such perfect timing that you will feel once again that blessed fortunate worthy worthy of the attention of source at all times being that you are a coach that never criticizes and sees no flaw in you only knows the perfection of you and the potential for your realization of it good we got one more uh, one more quick thing